guys, I'm here with my weekly what sold video. It's Friday. I'm gonna let you know what I sold this past week on eBay, Poshmark and Mercari. Sales were pretty good. Again, I still wasn't listening consistently every day because I've been so busy with volleyball. The end is near. I'm like excited in a way, but like I really like coaching, but it's just been too much with two teams this year. My girls team though actually won last night their first round in their conference tournament, which I don't think we've ever done before. They also got to nine wins for the season, which they've never done before. So we're doing great things with the girls team. It's just very, very busy. Uh, my boys team has a tournament coming up next weekend. So I will be gone three days going up to the Kansas City area again, possibly hit up the bins. So anyway, enough about my personal life. If you like reselling content, I put out three videos a week. I will go ahead and put a link to all of my social medias down below. I go by the Canary Closet and all of my platforms. My name is Heather, if I didn't already say that. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. I'm still just slowly building my channel, trying to earn some sort of decent income from YouTube to help me go to Disney every year because I'm obsessed. And we are going in 16 days. I'm so excited. <laughs> These are sales from October 7th through the 14th. I'm just gonna go ahead and start a Mercari because that's the platform where I make the least amount of sales. I sold these Eileen Fisher navy blue pants. They were a straight leg crop style in a size extra large very quickly for $29. I also sold this Duluth Trading Teal lightweight top. It was a size 2X, sold for $23. I got that recently for 99 cents at a local thrift world. Next was a pair of Madewell 10 inch high rise skinny jeans. They sold for 34. I sold these cabbie skirt layered leggings. Like I said in my last haul video, if you didn't watch it, I will link it here. They always sell really fast and they did. They sold within a day for $37. I love selling that style. Also this basic editions vintage Halloween sweater vest sold super quick as well, $38. I just got these last weekend at the Kansas City bins. So cost of goods was super low. That's exciting. That's my few Mercari sales. Okay. We'll go on to Poshmark because lately I've been making my most sales on eBay. I'm still running a 20% off markdown sale in my store. It's going great. Okay, here we go. Poshmark. Born Perez brown leather gold stud zip ankle boots in a size eight and a half sold for $25. Next was a Cacique green swim top um, plus size 28 sold for 15 this was my best sale of the week, I think. I like to put things on my Instagram and Facebook pages when I'm not so busy. I think I actually did it today um, to tell me what your best sale was. So if you know what your best flip was of the week, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we can kind of see what everyone's selling, what's selling for a lot of money. This brand was Studio Nicholson. I've never heard of it. It was a merino wool silk cashmere blend. And I got this at a local random thrift store and they're like, boutique section and it sold for $70. So that's amazing. I think I paid like four or $5 for it. So I guess that's a Bolo brand. Um, next was a vintage Christmas tree Santa Claus holiday vests only sold for 10. I definitely had this through Christmas last year. So I was glad to like just move it now, like whatever. I would really debate on getting holiday stuff just because I never know like if it's not gonna sell during that season that you know it's probably gonna sit a whole another year. So that kind of sucks. Anyway, I sold it for 10. Next is a Cacique bra. I just listed this this week. It sold within a couple of days for $18. It was in a size 44G. I sold this um, bundle of another Cacique bra. This one was a purple one and a torrid gray top. Those sold together for $28. Next was an Athleta cream cashmere sweater. This was in a size extra, extra small. It did have a couple little holes in the cashmere, kind of in the neck part. I didn't really notice until I listed it, but it still sold really fast for $16. And actually that item, I started listing some things that I got returned from ThreadUp. It was things that I sent to them and that they didn't accept. That probably was why they didn't accept it because it had a hole. Didn't see that at first. Um, so yeah, I did go ahead and list it. This next item was from a ThreadUp return also. It was a Desigual gray panel dress short sleeve mini. A lot of these I'm just listing kind of lower because I'm kind of wanting to move them fast. I picked them up originally to send a thread up, not to sell myself because in my opinion, a lot of things I send a thread up don't sell that well for me. Anyway, that sold for $15.
Next was the new with tags Torrid Purple Point Tail Long Sleeve Stretch Cardigan. I've had this for a super long time. It finally sold for 12. I sold this Lululemon Purple To and Flow Wrap Open Cardigan Sweater. This was in a size four and it sold for 17. Next was a pair of new with tags Levi's Wide Leg Pants, tan color, size 28, sold for 22. I sold this J. Crew blue gingham little mini dress in a size eight for $17. Next was a pashmina scarf. This came to me in a flip lot, probably one of my first ones, sold for $8. These next items were from a flip lot as well. Some Clark's shoes, they were white leather mules and they sold for 20. Next was a pair of Can Can jeans. These were a pair of skinny jeans, high rise, size 27, sold for 15. Here is another great sale, it was the brown soft. These were the style Charnel. They were leather, knee high, tall, lace up in the back. $47. I did not realize that soft brand sold that well. So I guess be on the lookout for them. Plus it's just like boot season. So that was great. Next was a new tag Zara sweater. I've had this thing for a stupid long time. It sold for 10. Pathetic. Praise. I sold these Jeffrey Campbell boots for $32. These came to me in a thread up shoe rescue box, which I haven't gotten in a while, but that's because I like got majorly stocked up recently and I have like still four up rescue boxes sitting downstairs waiting to be open so i'm not ordering any new ones anyway that was a great item to get in that box uh yeah next vintage i don't know how to say it someone told me in my comments of my haul video it was like that french brand marie francis gerbaud <laughs> i'm probably really off again and then i didn't look back at the comments to see how to pronounce it they were just like a pair of y2k low-rise jeans they sold really quickly for 22 dollars Next was a Talbot's Pima Cotton Basic Long Sleeve Top for nine. I would not have picked this up. This came to me in a flip lot with some other stuff that I wanted, so I still just listed it. I sold this Torrid Gray Tank Top. This was a women's plus size 5X marled, and it sold for $13. Next was a Bowden Top. I just now realized that I didn't even put the N in the word Bowden, so I guess good thing that it's still sold. It was a red-white ruffle top, sold for $21. Next was a bundle of two items that I've had for a really long time. They both sold for $30 together. One was a Wilfred dress, navy blue size large, and the next was an ASOS burgundy lace pleated dress. Like I said, 30, not a ton, but neither of those brands actually do that well for me. I sold these Nacho Daughters jeans. These were a boot cut style and a size four for $13. Next was a pair of Gentle Soles black leather slip on loafers. These were in a size eight and a half women's and they sold for $27. And I think that's it. So pretty decent with Poshmark. Um, hasn't been like really, really good, but it hasn't been bad. So I'll take it. Let's go on to eBay. My last platform, I am now up to over $12,000 on my 90 day sold, which is exciting. Basically that just tells me I'm doing good on eBay and I'm making good money. My husband just texted me, said I feel like I'm a chicken with my head cut off. <laughs> he must be busy. Anyway, I'll reply to him. Actually, I'll just reply to him now and I'll just like come back in a second. A few moments later. I just had to respond to him. He's kind of, he moved into that new position with his work. I think I told you guys that, that we ended up getting the like religious exempt form because he has to go into Facebook and Google to work on their generators. And at first they weren't gonna hire him because he's not vaccinated. Uh, speaking of, I just keep reading more and more and more things about crazy bad side effects. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Oh, I just can't really believe that we really went through all of that a couple of years ago. Like, okay. Anyway, <laughs> I had to let him rant. He got the job. He's making great money. So that's good. The first thing I sold on eBay was a pair of cabby pants. I actually just sold them a few minutes ago while I was doing my listings. They were a size six. They were a burgundy color and they were corduroy. They sold for $28.70. Next was a Citron Santa Monica blue green tunic top. This sold for $20. I usually sell these items for more, but they are normally silk. This one was not silk and it's kind of out of the summer season. I basically have just been taking lots of offers if I'm still making money. That's kind of what I did with this. This next item was a Neiman Marcus sweater. This was a red cashmere V-neck sweater and it sold for $20. Next was an Anthropology Monogram fringed trim jacket cardigan. It had a wool Angora blend. I got this in a flip lot and it sold for $25. Next was the brand Bob Mackey. One of these items was new with tags. 
I do not pick this up. This came in a flip lot. It was a pair of pants and a tank top and they sold together for $32.70. Another item that sold for $32.70, so I'm guessing that was just a price with my 20% off sale because I usually list things with the 88 cent ending just for something different, I guess. <laughs> um, they were Clark's Trish Ballet Flats Pink Suede size 6, $32.70. Next is a pair of Sorel boots. These came to me in a flip lot with a lady that sent a bunch of great brands, but they were all size five. Here comes Ellie with her deflated football skin. Ellie, say hi to everybody. Oh, good job, good job. Anyway, those Sorel boots sold for $40. I sold these Merrill boots for only 17. They were kind of in rough shape once I got them home and they were missing laces. Why did I even pick these up? I don't know. We all make bad buys sometimes. I still made profit. Uh, next was a J. Crew tippy cardigan. This was merino wool. This came to me in a thread up. No, this came to me in a flip lot. It was old. It was not the greatest style. It sold for 10. Talbot's blue downfield puffer vest, size medium. This sold for $21. Next was a brand Walker top. This is a great lag and look brand. It is a green linen long sleeve hooded top. Came to me in a flip lot and it sold for $30. Next was the brand Varley. I have sold these in leggings, but the leggings didn't de seem to do as good as this sweater. This was an extra small and it sold for $36.70 fairly quickly, I think within a week of listing. Next was an Eliza J blue scarf maxi dress. This was one of those items that I tried to send a thread up and it got returned back to me. Sold for $20.70 international sale through the global shipping program. So that's great. This was another flip item. This was a White House Black Market sequin halter top, size extra small, sold for $23.10. Um, this is the brand Sass, San Antonio Shoe Company, I believe. White leather walking sandals. We just found these last week at the bins and I sold them for $30 really fast. Next was the brand Marmot, which doesn't do super amazing for me. These were from a flip lot. They were hiking outdoor trail pants, size four, and they sold for $16. Next was a shirt my friend gave me. It was just a majestic St. Louis Cardinals baseball tee. It only sold for 10. Most of the stuff she gave me was like Maurice's and just random, I mean, not things that I would normally pick up, but she's like one of my really good friends. So I still sold, sold it for her. Do you guys sell stuff for your friends or do any kind of consignment? Sometimes I'm like torn on doing that for people. Next is a pair of Urban Outfitters out from under beige thermal waffle jogger pants. That is like a tongue twister. They sold for $22.30. I sold these Abercrombie and Fitch gray jogger sweatpants. Came in a flip lot for $13. This was also from a flip lot. Boss Hugo Boss navy blue basic t-shirt sold for $10. These Merrill boots were in really used condition. I just picked these up at the Kansas City bins. They sold very quickly for $32.70. Next was a pair of Nayote. This is a good comfort shoe brand to be on the lookout for. These were Mary Jane Comfort Orthopedic Shoes. They sold for $30. Also, if you list on Facebook Marketplace, they flag you for using the word orthopedic. So don't do that. Um, Coach Pebbled Leather Large Hobo Bag Purse sold for $50. Vintage USA. Why did I write USA? I think I must have done a sold similar. $550 high rise tapered leg mom jeans in a size 18 sold for $25. I had those for actually kind of a long time. I don't know why they didn't sell faster. Next was a pair of Nula Tags DL 1961 jeans. These were the Grace straight leg jeans in a size 33. They sold for $32. This Nike Smash Pink mini tennis skirt sold for 16. Anthropology Pilcro Luna Pointel tunic sweater in a size extra small sold for 18. Next is a pair of Athleta Brooklyn ankle pants. These sold very, very quickly within probably a day or two for $30. I sold this vintage Nike 90s navy blue windbreaker jacket for $23. Next was a Kate Spade purse. This was in that thread up box that I sent off and they sent it back to me. It sold for $32.70. I have like a lot of purses right now. So I tried to list those ones that I got returned a little bit lower in order to move them quickly. So. Hopefully that worked. See how we still haven't finished painting. We were like doing so good in the summer and then volleyball started and my sister works at the local pumpkin patch. All three of her kids are in volleyball. Both of our lives are insane. So I'll have to like give you an update. Like hopefully like after this, we can start getting the house put together. Next, Athleta Salutation Stash Black Leggings, size small, sold for 21. 
J. Crew black blue cashmere sweater. This came from that thread up returns, sold for 15. Next was a pair of Clarks. These were the Jerica women's five and a half leather pumps, new with box, sold for $40.70. Nanette Lapore polka dot silk top from the thread up returns, sold for 15. Vintage Levi's 577 loose fit high rise jeans, sold for 18. This was another really good sale. It was the brand La Agence. La Agence? How do you say that? It was a Cromwell camo jacket in a size extra small. This came to me in a flip lot. It sold for $62 and it was a sale through the International Global Shipping Program. So that was amazing. They paid $99 altogether for the shipping that they had to pay. I sold these Maurice's blue canvas slip-on shoes. That was for my one friend I was talking about for 12. Both of these Peruvian connection pants sold back to back, but different buyers. One was a pair of brown plaid one, size six. They were actually both the same style. And they sold for $35 and the next ones sold for 36. One of them was through the International Global Shipping Program again. So I'm really glad I had that on. I sold these Clark Sprint Light Lace Mixed Media Color Block Sneakers for $31. Next was a cut loose linen blend oversized tunic top in a size 1X for $24. I sold this new with tags Ted Baker Twilight pleated dress for $60 very quickly within a week. I got that at a local consignment store from the sale rack. Oh my gosh, I had some great sales. I'm like forgetting about these. I think because I've been like so like stupidly busy. Like I'm just like, ugh. Anyway, the brand is Mousy Vintage. I think that's how you say it. Mousy, Mousy, Bolo brand. High rise denim made in Japan skinny jeans, size 24, sold for 60. This Toad & Co dress sold for $48.64. It was new with tags, size extra large. I got those when I popped into my local Goodwill for like literally five minutes. Next was an Adidas red fleece hooded long sleeve sweatshirt. I think this used to be Ryan's. It sold for $12.70. North faced white vest zip up women's size small sold for 20. Mother diamond swooner not guilty black high rise skinny jeans sold for 30. Nike Icon Clashed Cropped Heavyweight Tee sold for 15 and that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I just realized I feel like I was like sitting back the whole time. I don't know if it's the best quality. I have my window behind me to try to get some natural light, but it's just very cloudy here today. Windy, slightly rainy, so not the best weather, but that's okay. Um, also a really weird thing. If you guys live in a house that's like in the country or by the woods, do you ever get like ladybugs all over your house in this like fall time because earlier this week it was chilly in the morning but it would get sunny and warm like in this around 70 in the afternoon and we were like for real infested by ladybugs but luckily our neighbor is a pest guy and he came over and treated our house so hopefully that takes care of it but yeah let me know if you dealt with that anyway thank you so much for watching i'll be back sunday with a thread up rescue box unboxing video so i'll see you guys then bye